So this video was originally going to be a return to form of all of that computer flipping content that you've grown oh so fond of, and that's still kind of the case today, but instead of an overview of a bunch of different deals I got, we kind of ran into one special deal that I thought would make a bit of an interesting video. So this beautiful machine right here in front of you is the Asus Strix GL731GT. I've gotten that twice in a row now, so congratulations. But this laptop here is a pretty decent gaming laptop. It on the used market, it's somewhere around eight or $900. Picked it up for $250, and there's quite the story to go along with it. So let's hear that. So before I go into what exactly was in this computer, I'm gonna go over how I became the owner of this fabulous machine, because that story is just about as interesting as what came crawling out of it. So while doing one of my daily browsings of the Facebook Marketplace, since that is apparently the only thing that I'm good for nowadays, I spotted this computer. Probably had one of the worst ads and descriptions that I've seen. It was a single picture of the laptop and then a pretty a lackluster description of said laptop, but through my detective work and my little computer science magnifying glass and those little white WASD keys, I figured out the model of the computer, or at least close to it, and I was like, why on earth is this man selling this computer for $200? So the messages began, and my skepticism was high as I tried to figure out exactly what was wrong with this or what the situation was with this laptop to make it $200 and no one had picked it up in the last couple weeks, so something must be wrong. So the wonderful gentleman that I messaged informed me that he wasn't even in possession of the laptop right now. He had pawned it off to a pawn shop due to some financial burdens that he was dealing with at the time. So to get said laptop, I would have to pay him the money to get it out and then pay him for the laptop. I don't know about you, but that certainly rang some alarm bells in my head. I try to keep a fairly good balance of putting myself in risque situations and diving headfirst into shady, weird pawn shop purchases. But with the two wheels use tech spirit and no self-preservation in my body, I went ahead and started setting up the deal to come pick up this laptop from him. I tried to circle in some of my friends as some extra muscle just in case this man tried to wheel away with me, but uh, they were both rather busy, so I had to go it alone. I do not recommend this, children driving an hour away to a shady pawn shop to buy a laptop that you don't have any more pictures of it's not a good idea but i had the golden ticket oh it wasn't exactly gold it was kind of white with some lackluster spelling on it a use but the the gentleman i was dealing with sent me a picture of the pawn shop ticket he received for turning the item in so i called the pawn shop store i gave him the ticket asked about the item and seemingly it was all there Great, the laptop is there, but you're not out of the woods quite yet. He claimed that he didn't have the charger for this laptop anymore, and that he had charged it before he pawned it to the pawn shop. So, what that entails is when I go to pick it up, he was like, it should be charged enough to turn on. What I take that as is, it should be charged enough to turn on, but when it doesn't turn on, well, it's just not charged. So I was very much expecting to go to this pawn shop, meet the guy, get it out of the pawn shop, buy it, press that little power button, and have a dead laptop. That isn't what happened. We brought it outside, he's talking, the whole time, may I add, I don't think this man left a second for me to interject. Place the laptop down, press the power button, boot it up, perfectly fine. And I was absolutely stunned. I don't know why no one else picked this laptop up. Maybe it was due to the fact that it was between a pawn shop and them, or just the bad ad, or I have no idea. But when people ask me how I get these deals that are a little bit on the spectrum of uh, exaggeration, as one of my critics has said, this is exactly how I do it. I put myself in scenarios that aren't exactly recommended. Children, again, don't get kidnapped at pawn shops. That is not a recommendation. But you kind of have to go a little above and beyond in the search for good deals, and this is just kind of an example of that. But the story doesn't really stop there, does it? Because you've all clicked on this video for the second part of this story. So last night at around 10pm, my tired little body was toying away at 
the projects I had going so that I could be ready for this video today. And one of those projects was cleaning out this laptop. One of the things that was wrong with it, or so I thought, is when you power it on the laptop, there is a very high pitched whining kind of screeching noise. Usually what I attach those noises to is a dead hard drive. And this computer is supposed to have a hard drive in it, but it wasn't showing up. So it made sense. There's a dead hard drive in there. It's making some racket. I'll just take it out. No big deal. Easily replaceable. If only it was that easy. So I flip it over and I undo the screws and I take the back cover off. And I'll show you a little video of what I found. It, it isn't exactly the best representation of what I found, but uh, this computer, for lack of a better term, was infested with roaches. <laughs> I never thought I would say that to anybody, that I bought a computer infested with roaches. One of the concerns is it sat over on that shelf for about a month, and I have no idea if any of them were alive when I brought them in. So instantly after seeing this, I, my skin began to crawl, my mind making up roaches that weren't even there. But uh, I then began the task of cleaning out the carcasses of many a dead roach. So using my patent and dust away, that I guess we can tack on the little feature perfect for cleaning out roaches from your computer, if that's a thing that people regularly have to do. But the problem was, there was no hard drive in this computer. There is a one terabyte NVMe SSD, cool beans, because that's what Windows is booting off of. But when I saw there was no hard drive, I went, oh no, what's making that noise? Lo and behold, when I turned the computer on with the back off, I could hear that it was the CPU fan, or one of the CPU fans, there's two on either side of the computer. And I was like, okay, Maybe it just needs some fan lube. You know, I've run into that problem before. It's fairly simple. You take the fan off, you dab a little bit of sewing machine oil or something like that. Fan's all good to go. And then my girlfriend said to me, is there a roach in there? Uh, and that got me thinking. So unscrewing the fan, pulled the fan out. I wish I would have taken pictures of this, but you're just gonna have to use my eloquent words to paint a picture in your mind. I took the fan out. And it's one of those blower fans that sucks air in and then shoots air out the back through the grills of the laptop. In the little plastic funnel leading to the fan was about a handful of roach body parts. Heads, legs, wings, whatever. Just all slammed against that back little radiator fin. And then flipping the little fan over. Lo and behold... There's some poor roach that apparently got mixed up in the French Revolution because his head was cut clean off by this fan. And every time they turned the fan on, spinning up noise came again. So we... Excavated this roach from the CPU fan. Put it back in. Works a dream. It's great. It's perfect. The only other small problem with this computer is the speakers aren't working. He told me this when I bought it, so I knew that was a problem. I might fix that, I might not, kind of depends on how easy it is to get the part. <sighs> the other issue you might have noticed by the laptop sitting here is it is pretty disgusting and covered in stickers. It was owned by a female, and she definitely um, did her due diligence of covering it in troll stickers and some uh, festive stickers on the back, because I'm not attempting to say that word, even though my camera guy just looked it up. So now, with you knowing the story of this beautiful machine, my task ahead of me is to clean off this. You will get that glorious movie editing magic where it will only be a few moments for you, but it will be maybe an hour or so for me. So I hope you guys appreciate this little pimp my laptop segment. <laughs> 